Hi, this is Rich Powell from ClearPath. The future for our energy system is not clear, but we can imagine a world where huge amounts of new, variable, renewable energy will require storing large amounts of power for use when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing, which often is when we need the power the most. Most current energy storage technologies come in the form of batteries, and there is no more ubiquitous battery in the world than lithium ion which currently powers everything from homes, businesses, and vehicles to my son's Thomas trains. But while lithium batteries certainly have their uses, it's unlikely they can fulfill the promise of renewables to affordably make up a major share of our power. One reason is a serious concern over their supply chain. Lithium ion battery tech relies on a rare element named cobalt, increasingly referred to as the blood diamond of batteries. Why? Well, it's a byproduct of copper and nickel mining in Australia, Russia, and Canada, but mainly in the Democratic Republic of Congo, which has poor child labor and mining safety oversight. Indeed, Panasonic, which supplies Tesla with its EV batteries, announced this summer that they're developing batteries that don't need cobalt, largely due to concerns about how it's mined. In the meantime, China is attempting to capture the global lithium-ion battery opportunity in the same way it's come to dominate solar manufacturing. A move by a Chinese company to acquire Chile's biggest lithium producer has been criticized as a potential OPEC-like cartel for battery materials. Suffice it to say, there are plenty of reasons for the U.S. to ensure the energy storage industry expands beyond just lithium-ion. And, we should remember, these batteries are not just to firm up renewables. Storing power and dispatching it later can benefit all power sources, including clean baseload technologies like nuclear. In order to expand our options quickly, ClearPath is advocating for a moonshot goal at the Department of Energy, reminiscent of the space race between the U.S. and Russia that led to Neil Armstrong's lunar footprints. The goal would be to create integrated energy storage technologies that can cost $100 per kilowatt hour or less when installed. That's more than a 50% reduction in the current cost. These batteries must also be able to charge and discharge twice per day for at least four hours and last roughly 20 years. Yes, that's very specific, but it's vital to set such clear targets to align most of our battery research efforts on the most critical areas. Such a goal would force collaboration across the relevant efforts at the Department of Energy, namely ARPA-E and the Offices of Electricity, Science, and Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy. Energy storage is an investment in the future of every clean energy source, from renewables to nuclear. That's something we can all rally behind. But we're going to have to move past the blood diamond batteries for this technology to reach its full potential. Thanks for watching.